<laughs> hey friends, well this is January 25th and we're in the middle of winter. I have to tell you a little story while I cut this picture out. I've got a picture of Abby here playing in the snow and it's going to be part of our snow globe today. Let me just show you what we're making. Isn't that great? I'll show you how we make it. So <clears throat> just reminds me, this today is my 35th wedding anniversary to Connie. 35, wow. <laughs> we were just hoping when we got married on January 25th that it wouldn't be a blizzard or something crazy because in Oklahoma you can get some unexpected snow and by the way you can get a lot of wind and it can be pretty ugly but it actually was a beautiful night it was a little crisp I will say but it was wonderful we had we had so many people there were a total of 27 in our wedding party isn't that crazy <laughs> Uh, we had a miniature bride and groom and candle lighters and and all of that it just you know that was 35 years ago was a different time whenever you you uh, had a wedding I think we were competing with Princess Di or something so because that hadn't been too much uh, earlier so okay here we go I'm gonna glue this on so the very center of this is this little round piece is really just measured from the plate. Let me just show you real quick the things we're gonna need. The photograph of the child, and then go ahead and just use the clear plate that you're gonna glue onto the snow globe. You just wanna make the circles to fit that. And then also some beads. Do you see these beads? We're gonna glue some of these beads on so that way it'll help the snow to fall around easily. Also have a little tab that I'm gonna stick on here so that I can put her name on. And I'll provide you a pattern of the snow globe. So print that off and you can simply just cut that out. So hold the paper on there and maybe the kids can do that. If they can't hold it still, you can always tape it, but just cut the snow globe out yourself. I think you get the idea and I've got one cut out for you right here. And finally, the snow part is Epsom salt. I know it's really pretty too. So I guess if a child puts this in their mouth for sure they'll spit it out but that's what it is. Now here's here's your teacher choice what you think you should do. I have I have here some tacky glue and I'm gonna try it and uh, I also have a, a, a glue gun if you'd rather just use a glue gun. It only it kind of sometimes turns into the, the teacher craft instead of the student craft. So just be careful. And, and honestly, this is okay if you want to make these of all of your children and hang them up and give it to them as a gift. I think that's really nice too. There's not a problem with that. So first of all, I've got her picture already cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to it. Honestly, I could even use a glue stick for this simple thing. Stick that on, good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue a few of these beads in place and I'm gonna do one here and one over here. And these are the little tri-pointed beads and they kind of look like little ice crystals and it helps the snow fall around them and if somebody were to like push down on the plate, then it would also support that, I guess. So that's pretty easy. Now we have our snow globe cut out. So that's pretty easy to go ahead and put in place as well. Now I probably could have made this easier on myself by gluing the blue on here first. That probably would have helped a bunch, but I didn't do that. So. I'm going to do it this way instead, all the way around, in place. It just proves there's more than one right way. So you'll do it your way and that'll be right enough. Okay, so that's in place. Now, if I wanted to, I could pile some snow up right here in the very middle, the Epsom salt 
and then put this down and hot glue around the edge. And that would be great. That'd be super easy. Matter of fact, the children can do all of these things that we're talking about and put the, the snow on, pile it up, and then put this on and then hot glue it. And that would be just fine. Um, it also will work if you want to add the glue right here or around the edge and then dot it any place that it might not uh, have covered completely. Honestly, you could put the snow on the plate and turn this upside down and try to, to attach it. But I think my first idea might be a little easier. So let's pile some of that on here. Just a little at a time. So you get however much you want on there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, let me kind of clean up this edge so that way the glue really adheres to the paper. It's nothing like sending home a nice little project with Epsom salt and then they get it in the car and they pull it apart or it falls apart. Well, it's just all, it'll vacuum. They've had worse, I'm sure. So, okay, let's get this glue out all the way around the edge. And again, if you wanna use the glue gun, that's fine. I, I would think that a low temp glue gun might dry before you can get all the way around the edge of this. If you wanted to put it on there, you could use a low temp glue gun and it would be fine. So, but since this dries clear, then we've got it made. Good. Almost there. Just a little more. All right. There we go. Now to turn it over, Put it in place. Smush that salt down. <laughs> Good. So now I can let it dry and it'll be just fine. Um, if we can just let it completely dry. There's a little wet wipe. I want to go ahead and add her name and the year that we're doing it. So the year is January 2021. And so I can put that on here. Now, you might want to add a Bible verse that God makes all the seasons. God makes the snow. And that would be fine too. Oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> so put that right there. And you, you may have a different label that you want to use. That's just fine. But here we go. This is Abby. All right, so after it dries, I want to look and see if there's any place that didn't seal and then I can go back and just dot that and it's all set to go. So I hope that you will give it a try and make one of these as well. This will be really terrific and your kids will love it. So make a snow globe. <laughs>